I'm just going to record this all. Um, this will probably just go as a big super cut on YouTube. Um, I just want to make sure I have a recording to upload instead of having to splice it out of my Twitch, right? It's annoying. Um, long story short, this is going to be all about the new unit, Gatling Gun and uh, Vulcan. Right, it's Vulcan. Yeah, Vulcan. Yeah, Vulcan Cannon. Um, it's going to be kind of, this is going to be just a little bit of a, God, a random overview of everything I'm learning about the unit. This is the first time I've played with it. I've sent, spent five minutes not even playing with the unit right now. Um, the first thing to keep in mind is it has the exact same range as Zeus, right? So you could theoretically just keep placing units in the very far back. Um, the downside is, is that you'll notice since it doesn't move, um, it isn't going to get a full stack unless things are basically right in front of it. And so what I'm noticing is that if you have units on your side like this, you don't want them on the line for this unit. You almost want them below it, right? So you almost want them slightly below to tank because it doesn't move. Therefore, I think if you were to place it like here, you probably would get a split tank correctly. Let's click on this here. We're at 10 stack right now. It's taking a lick of damage, which is fine. But I think the, the way to go about this is to honestly have it just slightly behind the range of the unit if you want 9 stack or 10 stack. It does put you liable for the unit to take aggro, which is not necessarily beneficial on a lot of waves. But early game, I think if you do with this setup, it should be fine. What I worry about, though, is like on wave 5, you're going to have a ton of aggro on this unit and none like on anything else, right? So uh, these are not good units for the wave. This is just testing things, right? I'm thinking the boss is going to jump on to the cannon, which it does, and then a couple units are as well. But I guess typing-wise, this is fine here, right? It's going to be okay because typing-wise, it's fine. I would say you're going to want to position this unit similarly to Zeus, from what I'm noticing. It's the same range, similar behavior in terms of how you want to utilize the distance. Um, wave 8 is another one I worry about, though. Right? Because if we have it set up like this right now, Wave 8 is just going to shred it because it's going to take all aggro right away. You know, it's, look, it just dies immediately. So, what you'll have to do... You'll have to probably place a unit... Oh, gosh. With Zeus, it's usually like five or so back. Let's try like this. And it can be a T1 for that matter. Because one or two units aggroing it won't be too bad, but it's not great. If I'm being honest, I think the best way to kill the new Gatling Gun unit is to send to it on wave 8. Because no matter what, its DPS is going to be nearly halved. If not more than halved, right? Like, you'll notice that it's at 3 stacks, 4 stacks at most. And so that in itself makes it extremely weak on ranged waves. So I think the worry waves are realistically going to be waves that are ranged. And then boss waves where they're it's going to take aggro early. That being said, if we go to wave 1, it holds wave 1 to a snail. Right? So it is a possible opening. It holds wave 1 to a snail. 340 to upgrade, so that'd be kind of a rough one to get by 8 or 9, but holds wave 1 to snail, holds wave 2 to lizard and dragon turtle. Dragon turtle is very close, you're talking 3 health. The one that it doesn't hold is double, uh, double snail every time. I'm thinking double snail is going to be a little bit of an RNG thing, right? Double snails RNG for the sole reason that it depends on when this other snail gets aggroed, right? Because this the wave creeps do eight damage impact. Snail does eleven. But I think snail targets slower. Yeah, so forty two percent leak there. But I had a thirty three percent leak a minute ago. I 
I think it's all going to come down to when targeting happens on the unit, on the extra snail. So early snail aggro, and I think we might do better. I can never tell, though. Now, it seems like worse if you aggro it right away. That's the worst I've seen. 50% leak is what some people in chat are saying is uh, the maximum. want to see if we can get a lower leak, because people in chat have also been telling me that you get a 0% leak occasionally. I think this this other snail. It's like three times in a row now we've just aggroed the other snail early. And if that happens, you're leaking way worse. 42%. Okay. Now that being said, if you have any T1, any T1, I don't think it really matters. Let's just lock in this again so I get a different T1. Welcome. Nova. So we just have, I don't even know, just a, a normal sp normal split, I don't really, normal, you know, the baby split. Let's go, um, we're going to go zo by Zeus portions. So he'd be six and a half here-ish. about half half split there I think the worst part though is with the split you notice how much aggro went on the stuff in the right hand side that had no damage bonus to it or limited damage bonus we do hold full regardless I'm not thinking this unit's gonna be super strong until uh, people get it figured out more because my problem with this unit right now is it's aggro is going to be um, aggro is going to be <sighs> it's aggro is going to be its biggest downfall right because if it targets things that are like really far on the right or left right like I had double snail a second ago with no split and only 33% but now I've also got it to leak 42, 50, and 42. Aggro, in terms of if it targets close units, far units, is going to be problematic. Um, it does not leak to a DT on 2, does not leak to a Lizard on 2, so Double Snail is the way to go. But... It just seems right now like a worse Zeus. Early game, at least. Now, my question is, like... Wave 10, for instance. If you got some tanks, then this is an awful roll for showcasing this because I have no tanks. Welcome um, sure. to Nova. Let's just utilize something right now. A um, bunch of growls, I guess. Um, we need to get to enough value to make me feel like okay this could be a legitimate build all right yeah sure this this works i think like wave 10 right like boss waves it might be really good but even then you'll notice the boss wave is so much farther forward right and we talked about that with the uh wave 5 as well you have to adjust your setup so much more just because a boss wave is coming it's kind of annoying with the unit This is all limit testing, guys, so even that, that's too far back. You have to be pretty far forward then. Which doesn't, isn't very intuitive on boss waves. I never understood that, like, why boss waves start so much far, farther forward. So you need a unit pretty far forward. Even then, is this thing even doing that much? No. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure, Tyrion. Like, this is gonna be a tough one. Like, this, the, the idea and the premise behind the unit sounded great. But I'm, I'm struggling to find the way this is going to work correctly all the time, right? Because either the unit's going to be really bad value on a lot of waves because you have to build up so far to keep it alive, right? It doesn't have my, very much health, so I'm like... Uh, let's go like wave 9. Alright, so let's get to value where wave 9 is doable. Let's see, you know, we, this is stupid value for wave 9. You know, 1100. Let's say we just got th a double cannon with, I don't know, dino. Double cannon with that. Like, this is not very good value, like, we, we, this is a lot of value for this wave, right? Okay, no. I, I, one of the cannons is I aggroing it. But then, even then, like, look at this. It's not doing nearly enough damage, right? It's so, like, early game, it's not worth it. I'm just, like, throwing something out there right now, Tyrion. Like, that's just showcasing, like, this is stupid good value and it's barely holding. Or it's not even holding. Like, my point is, is that... It's not good early, right? Like, it's it's not going to be good early. I think you can straight up just spam it snails, for Christ's sake. Dinos, I don't know. Because you theoretically want it like this on a, on a non-ranged wave, right? You'd want your, your DPS to be for that far forward. But if that's the case, then... No, I don't know, like this. I think what I'm trying to showcase is that the cannons are going to lock onto the back line. Oh, that's wave 10. Uh, wave 9. Oh, yeah. If you can get a 280 send, your rec value is going to be higher than, you know, 1100. The, the point is, though, is that it's just, I don't think it's worth it. I'm just, like, trying to come up with a use case for it right now. Because you're either over-investing in it and being bad on a lot of waves, or you're under-investing in it and just having a dead unit. Like, it's not very great on ranged waves, so you are you cannot use it early. You don't want to use it in a lot of boss waves, or you're going to have to adjust your entire build every time a boss wave happens. It's awful, 19. It's awful, 19. Maybe it needs to be in split? I mean, the split might be the way, but this is the only way I can think of this. This is the only way I can think of this, right? If you're going to run it, you're going to want to buff. Welcome to Nova. You're going to want to buff for it, right? So this gives you something like... But that's kind of the idea, right? I want the buff to walk in front, right? Just let me let me try this. What's it get for damage? It's only it's at max a seven. That's awful. You're you're thirty percent lower DPS now, if not more. So at that point, the, the the APS value isn't worth it. If 
15% buff right from by APS. Twelve percent attack speed, so APS isn't worth it. Even MPS isn't worth it. MPS isn't even worth it. Ah! If you stack it though, then it's still not worth it. It's only thirty. At that point, you're still getting less value out of it. Dark Mage works fine. Dark Mage, I think, yeah, works fine. Here's a use case. Welcome here. to Nova. Because everyone knows how good boars are. This is way over value, obviously, but. Welcome to Nova. Uh, shift B to change units. GK, sure. <laughs> oh, no. We're 1400 value, so what's way over, right? GK with a mall. I'm just trying to limit test it, see if this even works as an idea. You're at most five stacks still. I don't like it with boars then. and got rid of one of them, put a unit behind it, so we can actually have fun. We almost want it to be more center is the problem. It is range, maybe we don't need T1s. Yeah. Let's try that. I'm just not even going to build any, put send anything and see what happens. It's going to take too much aggro then. At that point, it would take too much aggro. Clear. Okay. Um, let's say we put a couple T1s behind it, and then let's say we get like a, a frontline send, right? I just want to test this with a frontline. Lower circle, you think? Let's, I'll just I'll fiddle with it. I'll fiddle with it. It's an eight stack then. Okay, maybe their use cases with boars. Which I don't love. That you know, they're good with boars, right? Because it's it's not gonna counter like wave 18 for some instance. You're gonna be really bad on 18 still. But Anywhere from eight to nine, uh, seven to nine stack seems like in this situation, which is not terrible, but with this build, you're really bad. 13, 18 for sure. With this setup, right? If you're gonna do boars and also this unit, so it's like I'm trying to come up with a use case for how this unit 
is going to work. And then, yeah, you go to a wave 11, for instance, right? Like, no matter what you got here, wave 11 is going to be su a suspect at best. Um, it's not passive ability damage, no. It's just attack. I don't know, I'm just putting a unit up front here. 1620 is way over, but... Yeah. Right, let's just go like this. Like, wave 11, you're getting 4-3? Like, that's so bad. There's like, like his DPS is near zero. Comparatively, you know, like it's not getting much DPS. Uh, I just don't love it. I'm just not loving this unit, sadly. I think it's it's a neat idea, but I'm just not loving how it works. Um. Like if I if I got something like we're low value for this. It, honestly, its damage is not that great. It's lower than Trinity Archer, in my opinion. Welcome to Nova. Like Zeus or Trinity Archer, I think are gonna do more in some of these situations. I'll do a comparison here. I'll put this. I gotta put it lower. It's 6k damage, it should have 6k damage. This 0.3 DPS per gold is... I don't even know if that's good, to be honest. Like here. Here, I'm going to put a Trinity Archer down. I'm going to show you guys. Like on a ranged wave, I think Trinity Archer is going to blow it out of the water. Trinity Archer is already better. And it's, what, this is about the same cost? I just don't see the use case for this unit. I mean, like, at that point, then, sure, great, Typhon, it's cheaper. I don't know, I'm quick mathing right now. It's cheaper, and Trinity Archer still did more damage. It's tankier? On Not really. Mark. It's about the same health as Trinity Archer. On your mark. So, Trinity Archer is cheaper, does more damage, has about the same health. Trinity Archer is better in every single way right now for a pierce damage you do like there's no need for this on wave 12 for instance 1880 this is a pretty normal wave 12 value trinity archers out dpsing it and this is seven stack they end with the exact same value i would rather use trinity archers needs to be closer, then at that point it's tr trash. If I have to have it in the middle line right here every time, then why have it? You can't have buffs on it because the buffs are going to face tank and destroy its value. You can't have any well, anything outside of Dark Mage. You have to ju constantly juggle your build to make it valuable, right? It seems like a great idea. I just don't think the DPS is there for, what, 500? Yeah, so it's 180 plus 340. It's 520. Give me... So, what, a Trinity Archer is 140 plus, 145 plus 265 equals 410. So that's an extra 110. Uh, 
Um, it has to be a, at least a seven or eight stack. It has to be at least a seven or eight stack to be on value with Trinity. And at that point, a Trinity Archer is 110 gold cheaper. Use a Trinity Archer. It's awful on eight. The new unit's awful on eight. It's awful on 11. It's iffy at best on 10, iffy at best on nine. It randomly will shoot a target that's going to give it a 10 stack on the left. And then randomly switch over to another target on the right that's going to be a four stack. Like, you can't split with it reliably. It's an okay opener, but then at that point you have 180 gold and wasted value. Like, I don't... I don't like it. It's a single target DPS in an AoE roll. Give me Trinity Archer then. <laughs> I'd rather have Trinity Archer. Like, I, I like the idea behind it. I just don't think it's it's good enough DPS. Yeah, max attack speed should definitely give you more DPS per gold than a Ranger. Well, I think what they did is they undertuned it because Sovereign came out so overtuned. And so they're trying to make sure that it's not broken on launch, which I understand and I agree with. But I think right now the problem is it's too lackluster. I think there's a use case for it. But in a lot of cases, if you give me the option of another Tier 5 or Tier 4... I would rather take, like, if I need a single target damage unit, I would rather take Radiant Halo, I'd rather take a Star Caller, I'd rather Thank take a Trinity Archer. I just don't like it. Two Daphnes, <laughs> like, the, the gold efficiency just isn't there for me to make my entire build work around it. Right? Because I'm going to be forced to have to build around this oh, unit every time. So, like, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, I don't know. Uh, this is way more value. Like, I'm way under value with this build right now. It's eight stacks right now. When there's a mole. It does more damage than Trinity Archer, but barely. And that's with me placing it in a not completely, like, BS spot. Like, if I wanted to organize everything around this unit, sure. But I just don't think it's worth it right now. Like, I think I cleared the same speed with double Trinity Archer. I don't know. It's going to be awful on 15, where Trinity Archer is actually pretty good. Welcome to Nova. My bow is Josiah. Oh, Fire Yeah, that's my thing. With like, you get two more workers out of Trinity Archer every time you build a Trinity Archer versus a cannon right now. Well, that's the thing. Like, Trinity Archer is good on 19 and 17. Like, you're screwed on 19 with this thing. What are you supposed to do? You're gonna have your DPS. It has no tank value, so it's just gonna get destroyed. I just, I don't, I don't see the use case right now. You have to win before 19? Yeah.
I mean, yeah, it's out DPSing Trinity Archer right now, but not by much. I mean, it should be out DPSing it, exactly. Do the heart. Yeah, I think the 110 gold there is a different maker. Alright, like give me that extra 110 gold in most cases. And that's worst case scenario. That's worst case scenario. That's with the safety mole, which hurts Trinity Archer a ton. Let's say they don't go safety mole and they go... I don't know what the hell this is. But something, something. Sorry. This is best case scenario for the gun. Is damage is worth more IMO? I don't think so. Give me Rangers. It just doesn't, it isn't, I don't think it's worth the gold right now. I, and it's, the problem is, this is best case scenario, Tyrion. This is best case scenario. I have it on the literal front line. I have boars as my tank. Like, this is the absolute best I can do to make this thing as usable as possible. In my, in my mind. Because the other option... I'm just saying, like, Tyrion, I understand what you're saying, that it's a single target damage. Is it, is it is focusing things down. You are correct. Trinity Archer is spreading its damage. You are correct. But in that case... Give me Halo. Welcome to Nova. Give me Halo in that sense. I'd rather have a Halo than with upgrade over this thing, I think, in most waves. Because the problem I have is Halo's still good on 8, relatively speaking. 10, 11... 13, 15, which are all bad waves for this thing right now, right? It's going to be better on 18 for me, 19 for me. I just, I'm, I'm struggling to find the use case that I like. Because the other thing too, and that's what I was struggling with, um, when you want to position it in a different position, right? And this is where I'm, I'm going to run into issues most of the time. If you want to position it in different positions, you have to be constantly doing this herky-jerky of, I need to have a unit... Because this has to be pretty far up, because it doesn't move, right? It doesn't move. I can't have... I have to have a unit here for non-boss waves to give it the most maximum damage, right? Because it needs to be one half back because this doesn't move. But then in those situations, it's also going to get targeted by the ranged units. So if someone just sends even a four eyes, it's going to get murdered. Then I have to also be playing this herky-jerky on boss waves. I have to build something up here. Or even farther, up here, to get it. Alright, like I have to get the... I have to progressively keep building units farther forward, but then that in turn is going to be a detriment to units, uh, to the unit on waves that I don't want things farther forward, right? Like, I'm just, I'm struggling to find how this can be utilized correctly every single time, unless you are constantly, and I mean constantly, doing cheap tanks like gargoyles or something to quickly adjust your split, sell them, adjust your split, sell them, adjust your split, sell them. And it's going to take a lot of tinkering and know-how because it's going to depend on what they send, when they send it, how they send it, right? Like, just sending a Ghost Knight isn't going to be necessarily a problem. It's going to be when they send a Ghost Knight and another unit to cause everything to go split and cause your split to be the one that's taking the longest and damage-wise. Like, it's just... I'm struggling to, to understand how this is going to be super good.
the person I think that cracks the micro, the, like the micro management of it, might get a great unit out of it. But I think for the, and I'll say it like this, the majority of the units in the game, the majority of the units in the game, the players, excuse me, majority of the players in the game are not going to be able to utilize this unit correctly, so don't pick it. If I have any two cents on it, do not pick this unit if you're new. Um, I will continue to obviously test it, and we'll fiddle with it, and if there's any new builds that pop up that maximize its potential, I'll redo some video stuff, but right now I do not think this is a great unit. I think it's going to be... Um, it's going to be a little too lackluster for now. But we'll see. I think I'd rather it be in this situation where it's undertuned right away than be like Sovereign where it's overtuned too much, where it, everyone complains about it. I'd rather it just not be good enough so we can tweak you can tweak it a little more every time, but we'll see. Um, that's going to be this video though. Uh, I'll catch you guys next time.